swag of a prize fighter. The antithesis of a firefighter. Arsonist, I'm a fire rider. Instant flame like a fire lighter. So special with shows, I live out my flows. Can't walk in my shoes, can't purchase my clothes. Ice in my veins, but I never froze. Picture perfect, but I never pose. As a juvenile, I know I bounce back. Got rated, had a plan to get my ounce back. You cheese as bait, that's a mouse trap. Let me to the right person to pounce at. They selling dreams, I'm pulling receipts. Full force, we can't be beat. Got a dirty mouth, but the flow so neat. Keep your two cents, talk is cheap. The next topic we're going to discuss on Boxing Bros is Tank the new face of boxing. We'll take a look at an exchange he had with Jim Gray at the end of his fight with Ryan Garcia, and then we'll discuss the comments made. Let's listen. Floyd. I watch Canelo. I look at all the tapes of Ray Leonard, Manny Pacquiao, all these guys. I'm going to be the face of boxing. Are you now? I'm definitely face of Boston. Absolutely. <laughs> Tank can go. That's what Tank had to say about being the face of boxing. I'm going to turn it over to G. Do you believe that uh, Tank is the face of boxing? I mean, new face, not necessarily. I believe he was, he's one of the faces of boxing for a while now. So, like, um, you know, uh, I'm just trying – every time – it seems like every time this dude has a pay-per-view, was he does pretty good numbers, man. So, I don't know. You know, like, I just think he's the same old, same old. You know I mean, he's just one of the faces of boxing. You know, like, usually when you think about it, it's like you probably say the heavyweight division, right? So, we got the, the, the top four now in the heavyweight division. When it comes to the smaller weight class, we got the – Canelo's, we got we got maybe even Earl Spencer's and you know the um TC's, and then when it comes down to his division, it would be like Tank, and maybe even like Loma and may maybe you know Devin, but definitely Tank's up there like in the Mount Rushmore of like boxing today. Tank would be that little guy that's representing you know what I'm saying the the lighter divisions. It'll be Tank's face so. He definitely is one of the faces. I, I I don't know about new face because I kind of feel like that's a that's disrespectful almost. You know what I mean? Like I kind of feel like he's been up there for a while now. All right, T B E. Nah, he's not the face of boxing, but he's one of the faces. This is like a Mount Rushmore every year. It's like you want to you want to see like the pound for pound. It's <clears throat> like the pound for pound list. Tank is on the pound for pound, and he should he deserves his recognition on the pound for pound. And, but when it's not, we don't we can't recognize all 10 fighters on the pound for pound list, but at least four to five. And I feel like he's number four. Number one, it has to be like it has to be Usyk. I'm sorry. Number two, I don't know. It's I, like, As the face of boxing, you be number no, one. No, listen, listen. Yes, Usyk is the face of boxing. Oh, it's his list, yo. Number two. All right, there, there we go. Let me get my list. Number two is Us, um, Canelo. Who's number one on your list, TBE? Usyk. Number two is Canelo. Number three, I got to give it to Tank. And number four, I got to give it to, like, Spencer. Uh, I ain't going to say Crawford, but... Uh, like anyway, special anyway. It's like the guys that like literally taking on the tougher competition. And I'm being real with you, it's just they oh, take on the tougher guys. guys. Uh -huh. New face of boxing or faces of boxing. Yes, you have to factor in popularity, right? Yes, these guys are not so popular. Number one, this is not popular. All of these guys, this is not popular. G, answer the question. This is not popular. Hold on, it's it's relative. Popular in comparison to who? Because if, if I, now, in popular, this era right now, he's not popular. Era, who's more popular, Canelo or Usyk? I'm gonna say Canelo. I'm just saying. Matter of fact, AJ is more popular still than uh, than, than Usyk, and Usyk beat AJ. Yo, what are you talking about here, bro? Can I have the flow back? <laughs> can I get I have the flow back? I wasn't finished. Yo, am I bugging? Yo, hold on, yo. All right, how about this? Yo, Katie, am I bugging though? It's his list. Let my man you know, have Can I cook? Can I, can I have my kitchen back? Go ahead. Get out of my kitchen, right, G. Right. Yo, you can never work on my stove again, yo. <laughs> <laughs> I feel I feel you, G. But 
It's also because it's the heavyweights. He like he he worked hard. He was undisputed cruiserweight, and now he's unified heavyweight. Like he's like waiting to get undisputed. He's waiting the ne his next fight's undisputed. So how can you knock a man who was like a, a division like people don't really like notice or recognize? Like cruiserweight, when you say cruiserweight, they be like, is that a car? It's like, like you know, was like the PT Cruiser? <laughs> they say that people don't think about boxing when you say cruiserweight. You hear what I'm saying? So, Usyk is putting on for cruiserweights and heavyweights. And, like, he's, like, that's why he's number one. Canelo's put on, because Canelo's that guy. Like, cause he's the face of boxing. I said this a long time ago. The face of boxing is Canelo. AJ would be up there, but AJ, he, you know, he got he got some he got some um groundwork to do. I get he got some groundwork to do again. Uh, after that, I go Tank because Tank is that dog. I right? Tank been that dog a long time ago. Like and I, like I said, I ain't gonna say it again because you know, whatever. You know, it, we're not gonna rewind the clip. We're not gonna rewind the clip. Play it back. Nothing. I don't even put it in your heads. But Tank's that guy. Tank has been popping and not stopping. Uh, and then fourth, I gotta go. I said Spence, but I want I, I, like there's a lot of like qualified boxers out here. And Spence, and still, till Spence fights TC, he earned that number four spot. But I feel like it goes to, uh, yeah, it, it goes to anyway. It goes to anyway. Like, anyway's been a dog, he's been a monster, he's been unstoppable. Like, G, you know, we saw his first fight. Like we saw, me and G saw anyway fight for the first time together, and we was like, G was talking trash, like the little guys, these these, you know, these smaller guys, and they they don't got the power, they don't have the power. But when we saw anyway fight, it was pretty, it was pretty impressive. So for me, it goes like he was impressed. Now he becomes the face of boxing. No, but he he's been doing it for a long time. It's, no, it's, Gee, it's not it's like crazy. a face of boxing is somebody who's consistent. Like they can't, they they continue their win streak, continue holding on to their belts, they continue building their name. Tank's been doing it, Usyk's been doing it, Canelo lost, but Canelo's still been doing it. Anyway, anyway's been a dog. Don't don't deny it. He's been a dog. They all of them been a dog in the sport. Mm -hmm. And I you know what I'm you know, arguing. I'm not uh, arguing. Honorably mentioned Tyson Fury. I think face of boxing goes beyond just a winning record, bro. So no, but it's like they've been they've been dogs in the sport. They've been taking on the challenges. They've been they've been taking on the toughest opponents. They've been winning, and then they maintain their belts, and then they maintain their winning streak. And these guys been doing that. That's uh, asterisk Canelo because Canelo lost to Bavol, but Canelo's still been a dog in the sport. Like let's not get it wrong. Canelo's yeah. a dog Dang in the Walker sport. Floyd, so. Floyd's not fighting. The Floyd's inactive. Like, but why should I bring Floyd if Floyd's not fighting? Forget it. It doesn't even matter. Oh, oh okay. So, it, I, it, I, it, not, it. No disrespect to Floyd. Floyd, you a guy. We were like, if everyone comes on the show, we love you. No, I'm but, just saying, I didn't say to put Floyd on the list. I'm saying Canelo also lost to Floyd. No, I'm talking about the current, like, they, like their streak, what they've been doing in the sport. Yes, he lost to Bavall. But before that, he's been doing so much in the sport that you'd be like, you gotta respect it. You gotta give you, you gotta tip your hat to it. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying, oh, Canelo is um the face of boxing because he's no Canelo demanded what he demanded so much money from the zone. Everybody wants to sign him. Like Canelo could do whatever he wants in the sport because it's Canelo. He, he made a name. It's not like oh, who's fighting tonight? Uh, uh it's Triple G Canelo. No, it's. No, but you know Everybody. Listen to what you just said, though. I agree with you with what you're saying with Canelo. And in that same breath, you said, anyway, bro. Hey, How does that make sense, yo? Yo, G, you're not giving him <laughs> you're not giving him his respect. No. It's he's not, been it's doing not, what he has to do. It's not that. It's like what you're saying about Canelo, right, is you're making a real argument for why he's the face of boxing, right? Yes. And how... Everyone wants to sign him. He demands this. He like he's the world. He's known around the world, right? You can't yeah. say the same for anyway, bro. And like, that's, on, bro. He's not the face of boxing. Yeah, I did not. Uh, if you want, I do. One of the, the theory, one of the faces. Honorable mention anyway. Honorable mention anyway. It goes. Usyk, Canelo, 
Tank, Tyson Fury, honorable mention anyway. Now, 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 my rush more, my rush more, because you clearly, you clearly don't respect anyway now. No, that's not. Ah, right, you didn't. You're not understanding what I'm saying. No, I get what you're saying. It's like how you could, you, how could you say that when he hasn't have like he hasn't really proved himself, but he has proved himself. And this is like four years ago. We hated him. We didn't hate, but we didn't recognize. We didn't recognize his skill set. But he's been doing it for four years now. Four years later, he's still the top dog. Got to give it to him. You got to give it to him. Go ahead, G. Listen, listen, listen. With all due respect, there's no disrespect to anyway. But when it comes to being a face of boxing, meaning, you know, these other gentlemen, right? You. All the casuals know who these guys are. There's casual boxing fans that don't even know who anyway is. That's a fact. In the, in the a US, difference. But around huh? the world, I know a lot of people know who anyway is. How you know? You ain't never been out the country. Watch your mouth. You know what I'm saying? Yes, he has been. He's been out the country recently. Yeah, I've oh, been out the country. You know what? You're right. I remember what you've been doing. Respect your mouth. Watch your mouth, yo. All right. All right. But what, I'm saying, is, <laughs> what I'm saying is. Yeah, like I'm just speaking of. Not that. My bad. My bad. My bad. Don't. Yeah, yeah. Pardon me. Apologize. On air. Yeah, let's just keep it one. <laughs> but the country that you was at, do you think most people knew anyway? If you said, hey, yo, I want to <laughs> see anyway fight, you think they're like, yeah, yo, let's go see that anyway fight? Or they're like, oh, who the hell is that? No, I'm not saying. Just because he's not respected in the, in the States doesn't mean he doesn't have, I like. I in the States. I said back when you, when you left. And when you went on vacation, right, to the other countries that you went to, be real with yourself. If you would have mentioned anyway in those countries, would those people be like, yeah, I can't wait for his next fight? Or they'd be like, who the hell's anyway? They'd be, they then going be like, who's that? But then once they see, like, right, he's that country. guy. No, 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 no listen, thing. G. Once they see he's that, like, he's that guy, they're going to they're gonna tune in. People, people love it. People love a spectacle, y'all. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not gonna lie. They love it. They love to see people who are winning. You better off saying you Lomachenko. You better they off either like to root against them, like you, or they like to root for them. So I'm not rooting anyway. Against. It's a top dog. Like he's I'm he's a, he's part of my list more right now. You're not. You know what? It's cool, man. It's your list. What am I not? As... Yo, I'm be honest, yo. This, this segment in the past couple of says been kind of hard to explain to you. Where I'm coming from, so I just I don't know where you're coming from because you just sound like it's hate. It sounds like it's hate, but I'm saying like I, hate. I, said, I gave the Usi Usi uh Canelo Tank. I said anyway, but I give it to Fury. Fury Fury deserves his flowers, but then anyways in like honorable mention. It's like because it's like the guys who don't who do so much but don't get so much recognition, but they need that recognition to be to be recognized because like it's. Let's for instance, five years from now, anyway retires. Then ten years later, he never gets um, on into the Hall of Fame, boxing Hall of Fame. But he's done the work. He's been a great in the sport. You don't want these guys to be forgotten about. These guys are greats. Like let them be recognized. That's all I'm doing is recognize anyway's greatness. You can't downplay it because anyway's an, anyway's a top guy. He's he's nasty. So don't do that to him. Don't do that. Don't take don't take his credit away from him, G. And that's what you're that's doing. Right now. That's what I feel like you're doing. You're trying to discredit anyway. Don't do that. God bless. That's not what I was doing at all. It we sound like it. The boxing. It sound that's like it. everything you speak sound like it's just like a, you know, yeah, stab. stab, stab head. Head. Uh, world, uh, G, like come on, yo. In a world of seven billion people, and you ask these seven billion people like, yo, who are the top boxers or whatever? If you mention names of note. I don't think but do they watch boxing? Like do that. they even like some people? Anyway, some might people be that dude. Though. Maybe like, in not, Asia, not, maybe in Asia, people. he's that dude. In Asia, he's that dude where they're probably he's a household name. Not in the U.S., not in the like, like that. Man. You know what I'm saying? Not in Mexico like that. It's just being real, man. Like boxing's a global sport, right? So if you're talking about faces of boxing, then you gotta think about hey, if you mention this name around the world. Can people will people actually respond to that name? Will they react to that name? Will they be like, "Yeah, I know that guy," or "I've seen his last fight," or "I can't wait to see his next fight," or they go like, "Who's that? What are you talking about?" Like, come on, son. There's a difference. That's why I'm like, "Yo, is anyway really the face of boxing?" And if you think so, then hey, man, not the I face. I said, "Honorably mentioned, he should be on the Mount Rushmore." 
Oh, they do know what the Mount Rushmore is like. They just no, the, bro. The, the top four guys doing it. Yo, Caden, please, man. This is your son. Just okay, no. I'm done. No. I'm done. I have to follow you. Listen, listen. Yo, I made him. You raised him. You know, what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> straight up. You know what I mean? This is crazy. Let my man have his list. All you gotta do is fall back and let my man have his list. You know what I mean? Um. Hey, Ned, man, your list is your list. I don't got no issues with your list. Uh, for me, the way I see the the face of boxing is, like, who's the person who pushes the sport forward? Who's mm-hmm. the person? Like, LeBron's obviously the face of the NBA. Um, and if you're talking about, like, the NBA and who can possibly be the face, it's LeBron, Steph Curry, Giannis, Um but to me, it's still LeBron James um, at the end of the day. Hey, we could throw Brandon Ingram in the conversation. I'm not going to lie. That's neither here nor there. Well, well, my thing is every sport needs storylines. And anyway does provide a storyline because of where he's from. He's from Japan, and he's bringing in a new fan base. And so, you know, part of his story is where he's from, what he's doing. You also have Zhang, who's who's a heavyweight from China, trying to do some. Um, so, I mean, I don't. I, who, who's to say what storyline inspires people, right? Um, for me, when I'm trying to put together who's the the face of boxing, I'm thinking globally, who's the person that people would pay to see. And I know Anthony Josh was one of those people. Because Saudi Arabia continues to pay him. And there's even talks about him fighting Zhang in China. Um, And, of course, he's from the UK of Nigerian descent. So he has ties and he's shown that he's a global person. So when you talk about a face of boxing, Anthony Josh was clearly one of the faces of boxing. Canelo Alvarez is one of the faces of boxing. When you talk about um, his roots in Mexico... His popularity in America um, and the fact that he's popular in the UK um, globally, he's a, he's a recognized superstar. So then you have Canelo, Javante Tank Davis. To me, is someone who needs to be considered as one of the faces of boxing. Absolutely, when you look at the fact that in America he brings out the superstars mm-hmm. and his win over Ryan, I think made him bigger and solidified him. It definitely took him into another tier. We got to wait for the numbers, but he was doing around 200, 250, 250,000 pay-per-view buys, which isn't bad, but it's not something you would say superstar level, especially when Canelo does better numbers. Floyd did better numbers than all of them. Um, But is he the face? Um, you know, for me, I, I, I while Ned was speaking, I, I just made a quick list. I'll just run through it. Of people who could potentially be considered or even deserve consideration as being the face of boxing. Um, Javante, Tank Davis, Anthony Joshua, Canelo Alvarez, mm-hmm. the winner of Spence versus Crawford, because neither one of them are the face right now. But if they fought each other and someone won, they could actually put themselves in that discussion. Clarissa Shields and Katie Taylor. And the reason why I add them is, again, it's about the story of boxing. Some people are going to know Clarissa Shields and some people are going to know Katie Taylor who won't know Anthony Joshua. And it's because they're inspired by Katie Taylor and Clarissa Shields' story. And Anthony Joshua probably doesn't mean so much to them. But if you're asking me, who I think is the face of boxing at this moment, I would have to say Canelo Alvarez, just based on uh, how long he's been in the sport, his body of work, the number of titles he's collected, um, the pay-per-view numbers he's put up. And I get it. He lost to Baval. That's one L. And we talk about like rehydration clauses, all types of stuff, right? Canelo Alvarez is one who moved up to take on the challenge in a weight class that he probably shouldn't have been at. Right, and so you got to give Canelo Alvarez respect for that. And he, he clapping? Takes... you acting like he said anyway, bro. Relax yourself. Yo, oh, G, I'm just saying, you agree, bro. Like, are you interrupting Caden? Like, stop it. You didn't even put your finger up, yo. Stop cutting off. 
At least pull your finger up, G. Oh, pardon me. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, I think there's something to be said for that. Like people who go and and take the challenge. Like Canelo went up, and even Bavall saying if he fights Canelo in a rematch, he wants to go down because he wants to try to become undisputed. Like that's respect to me. It's like I right, you fought me. So we have a lot of uh, good people, but to me, number one is Canelo Alvarez. Um, and everyone else that I, I say it's honorable mention, but again, it's about your story. Maybe to some people, NUA is the face. Maybe to some people, Katie Taylor is the face, right? Um, depends on who you are, where you're from, what you're doing, but who I think has the most appeal globally and who I think generates the most wealth and who I think is probably the superstar in the sport that's most recognized in you know the most uh marketable i'd say canelo alvarez all right so all right, go ahead uh Ned. i just did that to cut off g because i know you want to say something but i agree with you canelo is like the most marketable person he's the face of boxing he's right next to anyway watch your mouth G, you don't respect anyway. Like, like that's the thing. It, G doesn't respect a lot of fighters until they what? fight and show that they that like they're that guy. They that they, 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 they got the dog in them. But anyway, like I know he's in a different market. He's different. He's like on the other side of the world fighting. He's fighting his fights, but he's shown he's proved you every time, time after that. He's that guy at his division, and he's undisputed. He's well, he's undefeated. He's beating all the top competition in that weight class. So I just he needs recognition. And even though he doesn't get his recognition, he's still that top guy. He's top guy in the sport. He's done it for a while now. And it's like three years ago. I remember me and G was like, who's G G I I, I used to I used to I don't want to say this like so G give G credit, but G used to say stuff about certain fighters, and I'd be like, mm, I can see it. But then when they prove themselves, I give them their respect. G, you gotta give anyway his, his respect, just like you don't give no. Usyk or Loma their respect. Oh and these God. guys are top dogs. They're like live animal. <sighs> G, uh, you gonna hold your head? But you gonna oh, next segment like... if we got if it's gonna be like, how do you feel about anyway? G's gonna take an X slash and just let it off on him. Do you feel what I'm saying? Oh, this is Go ahead, G. <laughs> Go ahead. All right, listen. I, I give all all the gentlemen that you mentioned their respects, right? You're what I think you expect from me is if you ask me a fighter versus another fighter, and I pick the other fighter, even if the rest of you are picking fighter A, I go with fighter B. That means I'm disrespecting fighter A. No, it just, just means like you I pick B over A. That's it. You know what I'm saying? But I still acknowledge. That fighter A is still great, and he's done a lot for the sport. You know I mean, one second, one second. All right, that's fine. I, I'm a, in in the segment. I think you're both. The disagreement is criteria. I think your criteria is different from how Ned's judging it. I think Ned's judging it based on storylines and um, who he feels is. Um, worthy of consideration and i think you're judging it based on like who do you think is the most known generates the most money and i think you're looking at it that way and it's like it's not a matter of who i like it's a matter of who i think pushes the sport forward so i think that's what it is but let us know what you think in the comment section please like share and subscribe remember you can listen to our podcast on all major streaming services we are the boxing bros